let's heat things up and get into some campfire building. First, let's grab some materials. To get a flame going, we'll need some tinder. Tinder is any material that lights easily and burns quickly. It provides that initial flame to build your fire. Then we'll need some kindling. Want a stick? Ready? Thin pieces of kindling are added to build and maintain the flame until the larger pieces of wood heat up and start to burn. Now let's grab some fuel wood. It's always best to grab more than you think you need. Typically, you'll want to use softwoods like cedar for kindling and hardwoods for your fuel. This will keep your fire going and glowing. Now we're ready to set our fire pit. Clear a patch of ground so it doesn't have any forest debris. Once we have a clear area, we're going to build a little rock wall around our fire to help maintain it. And for our chosen fire layout, we're going to add some tinder to the middle of the pit. Different campfire layouts have different characteristics and purposes. If you want to get a fire started quickly, a teepee layout will do the trick. Arrange the wood in a cone shape with your flame in the center. This is also one of the easiest fires to assemble and to get going quickly. The log cabin layout involves laying pieces of wood in square frames and stacking them one on top of the other. Your flame will burn in the open center. This layout will burn really steadily and is great for cooking. For the upside down fire, stack layers on top of each other with no spaces in the middle. Make the layer smaller as you build up. Then lay your tinder on the stack so that your flame is on top. This fire will burn down slowly and provide a long heat. If there's too much wind, a lean-to layout will help keep your fire alive. Place one large piece of wood horizontally on the ground, then lay smaller pieces of wood against it at an angle. This creates a nice little shelter for your fire. The star method involves arranging long pieces of wood in a star-like pattern leaving a gap in the center for air circulation. It's effective for creating long-lasting fires and can be used for cooking. So whether you're looking to cook some dinner or just enjoy some atmospheric warmth, hope this video helped.